Alrighty, let's go ahead and move into Eclipse and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new project. So I'll say File New Dynamic Web Project. For the actual name of the project, I'll give Hello. I'll keep the target runtime for Apache Tomcat. And for the configuration section, I'll actually click on the modify button because I want to modify this configuration to support JSF. So here under the project facets, there's an entry here for Java server faces. I'll go ahead and check that box and I'm going to use JSF 2.2 in this video series. Go ahead and click on the OK button here. Click on next. I'll keep the defaults here for this screen. I'll go ahead and click on next. Now for the context root is hello. I'll go ahead and leave that as is. In the bottom left, I'll check the box here to generate a web.xml file for me. Click on next. Now for this section here for the JSF implementation library for the type, I'll choose the drop down and I'll choose disable library configuration because we'll do this manually later in the video. I keep all the other defaults here for configuring the JSF servlet. And down near the bottom, this will allow us to access the JSF faces servlet by using the faces prefix on our URL. I'll go ahead and click on finish. And at this point, we have a very basic project set up called hello that we just created. Now there's still some additional steps that I need to do here. I actually need to download the JSF libraries and add them to my project. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's go ahead and open up a web browser and we're going to download those JSF jar files. I'll simply go to lovetocode.com slash download dash JSF. This will actually redirect you to the repository where you can download the JSF libraries. Alrighty, so we're here at the repository here for JSF. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down on this list and I'll show you the actual file that you want to download. So let me go ahead and zoom in here for a second. You want to download the file javax.faces-2.2.8.jar. That's the version of the jar file that will work with this video series with no problems. So you can go ahead and select that link, download it to your file system, your browser may prompt you, and then you have the file downloaded to your computer. All right, so let's go to our file system uh, in my downloads directory. Here's the jar file that was just downloaded. So let's go ahead and uh, get this set up for our Eclipse project. So we basically want to copy this to our webinf lib directory. So I'll go ahead and copy that jar file from my file system. I'll move over to Eclipse and I'll paste it into the directory webinf lib. And it's very important that you paste the jar file into the webinf lib because that's a special class path directory that your project will use. And that's basically it. So you've successfully downloaded the JSF jar file and added it to your JSF project. 